and welcome to a review of the Lego minifigure series set 19. Uh, I didn't like blind pick this or buy a box, I just went in the shop and said I want one set and I got it for the price I listed. Some places are slightly cheaper, some places slightly more, but um, I was just like yeah whatever. So here's a quick look at the paper sheet inside, you got these characters here. And on the back there's some assembly card on some of them because uh, a few of them do get slightly more complex than your regular minifigures. So instead of going through them one by one by the order as they were released, uh, I'm just going to go with the least to most interesting. So starting off with this biker, uh, this bike here is a little different from what I used to see. There's extra more handle areas for her to, for example, pick this bike up and carry it. It's uh, it's just a, a biker. It's still got some good parts here, mind you. It still has a dual molded blue and green leg that can be quite useful, but the figure itself just doesn't interest me too much. Uh, the colors are nice, but she's not too special. She, this, this minifigure feels like it should be in one of those like minifigure packs, like the city packs, or maybe just one of the characters in the background. Not something you should see in like a minifigure series where they do a lot of special stuff with it. Still, she does have good parts, it's just that the character itself is not that interesting. A little band-aid on the side there, that's, that's kind of cool. Next up we have a rugby player. It says rugby on this ball. And uh, he has some basic printing on the leg. Again, just a sportsman. I mean, if you love rugby, then then great. He's got two faces. That's still nice. And it's still like a nice quality produced minifigure. But um, I'm not a big fan of watching any sports. I'm not a big fan of rugby. Although I will say that rugby is much better than American football. <laughs> um, I mean, in American football, you don't even... Uh, I mean, you run around the ball. You only kick the ball when you're going to strike a goal. So, yeah. I don't say soccer to me because it's football and American not football. <laughs> Next up we have this firewoman. Um, she sort of fits in with the other regular sort of Lego City firewomen, but that, that's just it. She's, uh, she's just slightly different enough, a little bit more detailed than the regular firefighters that you get in the minifigure sets. And she also doesn't have any of the female hips printed on, so you could swap a male head onto this and it would be fine. Just look, she has a earth face on the back, that's kind of cool. And her hair with hat piece is dual molded. So you can get a bunch of these and add them into your regular firefighting sets. It's just that, well, that's just she, who she is. She's, she's not, she's not different enough to be special, but she's not bad. So the microphone's kind of nice. You have the fire logo printed on it. So, you know, got some neat, again, got some neat stuff here, but she's not different enough from the regular minifigures to make it stand out. Next up we have a Flamingo Lady. Uh, the minifigure itself is very tacky. Like, what, what are these pants? What are these shirts? She's, uh, yeah, what, what's going on here? I feel like we've all seen someone like this and just question, huh? Uh, I mean, if you, you know, if you dress like that, then cool to you, but it's just not for me. I just look at it and go, oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, very uh, 60s colors, is that a thing? And um, yeah, <laughs> even her hair like is a uh, very old-fashioned style, the beehive. Uh, so just she doesn't have a secondary face, so that that's some marks down to that. These plant pieces they feel more matte than what I'm used to. Uh, these plants built with the new technique where they use uh, more environmentally friendly plastics from sugarcane. I, I don't know if they are. So she got some green gloves there. These these are useful parts, I guess. But of course, the uh, most interesting thing with her is this flamingo. It, this is dual molded, the black piece, and I'm guessing uh, there's a lot of black plastic inside there. It's hard plastic, and the pink stuff is soft. So you can go, do, 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 do. <laughs> you can do that. So either uh, as a statue flamingo or an actual one, because it's got eyes on it. it it's a kind of cool piece. It's it's neat. Next up we have another girl mummy and it's we've had a lot of mummies throughout the years <laughs> So this one doesn't interest me too much. We've got another scorpion. We've got a bunch of these. This one's molded in gold uh, So it's just whatever again. It's a nicely produced minifigure, but it's just something we've seen so many times The colors are definitely different though to make it stand out. We've got this uh, this teal blue color uh, as a design and She has dual molded legs, so that can be useful she does have a more monster face on the back, so that's interesting. So you're essentially getting two figures in one, or you know, one face is when she just woke up, and this face is when she's a regenerated, little sucked a few body essence from some unlucky passerbys. So again, it's a nice minifigure, but it's just yeah, we've seen too many mummies. 
and not just in Egyptian sets or horror sets, we've seen a lot of mummies in minifigure series alone. Next up we have an Evil Knight. Again, it's something we've seen a lot, but there are some interesting things here, such as the uh, transparent blue sword and the little fire flame thing on top of his head, and you get to spare each of those. The sword's really soft plastic, by the way, definitely softer than the traditional sort of silver or grey swords that we have. Let me just take that helmet off, let's take the... So you can see underneath that armor, you do have a nice chainmail suit. So army builders, this is a cool piece to have. You just want to just remove the blues and replace them with yellow or flesh color or whatever. Get a bunch of these. The legs are also dew molded. Like seriously, it's just dark gray to light gray, but it is dew molded. So that's, that's kind of cool. I could have just left it as one gray color and it still would have looked fine. More chainmail patterns on the back. This is a nicely produced knight figure. So if you take away the... Uh, you know, the shield and the blue hands, you know, this bat shield thing, you can just convert him into a regular knight. Which is, uh, actually one of my friends mentioned this, and I think a lot of people would agree, that a lot of people do want LEGO to return and release some classic castle sets. And this would fit right in, just, just swap out the blue, like, monstery parts. Next up we have a food mascot guy, a pizza guy. Uh, this would be more interesting if I didn't see a bunch of these from bootlegs already. If you want to check out those Poco sets that I reviewed a while ago, there's 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 foods like you know like chips, pizza, and like there's, there's drinks like Coke and Fanta. There's a bunch of them. They're not the best quality, but I've just seen them so many before. Lego themselves did one. I mean, the, the print itself is okay. The bootleg ones have a bit more of a 3D texture. This one's just like a flat print, so they can print other types of pizza later. Uh, no secondary face, in fact, no back prints whatsoever. Some side, really side, um, some side and front really tacky sort of prints. But this is what pisses me the most. Uh, if you look at his torso right here, you can see there's a dent right there. It's like someone chilled this guy up. Look, I'm shining here. You can see the scratch marks all over the, this place. What kind of quality control is this? This is a damaged minifigure. I'm not happy. And, you know, I'm not going to go and complain to LEGO, hey, send me another green minifigure. Because, again, because that's a waste of postage and resources. Uh, and I will feel bad, like guilty. Like, if there was a LEGO distribution center in Hong Kong where they were sent apart from Hong Kong to me, I might still consider it. Uh, but not this. This, not, not, I don't want to send them. I don't want them to send me just a single piece from the United States or, or UK, or whatever. So, still, this is an unacceptable. Like for the you know the price and quality that we expect from Lego, this is horrible. Next we have an IT girl. She's well, she looks like an IT girl. She's got like a little fleece or jacket tied around her waist, and this is again, in fact, a jewel molded figure. So that's kind of cool. So this this you know this jacket doesn't cut off on the back. That's nice. They print a little bit of grey to give this this effect. So yeah, this is nice. She has a smug face on the back, of course. She's like. Oh, this level, I can, I can hack in anything. And I think this torso is going to be very useful. Just black torso with uh, dual molded arms. That's nice. She comes with a Lego branded laptop. Um, I always think that these pieces, you know, really need some sort of like paint job. So I wonder how good this would look. If I spray painted it silver and then I painted the screen black and then the logo there and a little bit of white uh, highlights to it. So it looks like it's glowing. Um, just, just like, you know, like Alienware or a natural, like an Apple laptop, like a MacBook. So that, that's cool. It's a little bit hard to open though. But her most interesting piece is this little fella there. This little droid. Uh, you just use a gun piece or so handlebar there. Attach these two circle bits. And this little face. It's, it's nice and printed. And it's just like the new space set with a little robot. That, that's really cool. Um, it fits in there. So you can, you can put her easily in one of the uh, space sets from 2019. And she's one of the uh, Oop Land staff. And she has her own little droid that you can put in other parts and it would fit right in. Next up we have a repainted version of the panda. We have a Care Bear essentially. Uh, just weird colors and stuff. It's mostly just interesting because of these weird colors. Look inside he has a happy face and a oh face. This, this is nice. This is, this is a nice facial expression. He's got this uh, heart piece. He's got two here. I think one of them is just a spare. And, uh, but it's nice, so you always get two. And this little rainbow piece, so if you get four of these, he can fit right in with Unikitty land. Next up, we have another animal mascot person. Uh, tail is a soft piece, of course, and it is dual molded. It is a soft piece, of course, and I think it's just painted white on the tip. It's got a little bag and a chicken. Uh, I think this chicken is a new color, slightly darker tan color. Dual molded legs, almost no print on her. 
Gym delays and almost no print aside from here for the body, so this can be quite easy to use for customizations. A more evil like <laughs> face there, that's quite sinister, I like it. In fact, in fact, I like it so much I'm just going to turn the head around now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, next one, the minifigure itself isn't interesting at all, but let's, let's go for it. So next figure comes with these two dogs. Uh, no, I think I think these are new modes. I've not seen them before. So you got that. Uh, what do you call them? The little little pit bull terriers or whatever. I don't know. And we got the uh, German like sausage dog. So that that's cute. These two dogs that you can't really move. And then we have the minifigure itself. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to see the interesting bit. So the figure itself is definitely not that interesting. It's got dual molded legs. It has. It's also dual molded. Arms are dual molded. She has this face, which of course is more appropriate. So I'm just going to rotate that head around. There we go. Um, and the torso print itself is, you know, it's decent. It's decent. It's just a nice little decent city figure. So definitely pop this in one of your modular sets or city sets. But of course, the most interesting is we now have a Lego Poo. You know, you could put this on a cone and call it ice cream, but the way it's molded is, um, yeah, it's it's definitely poo. <laughs> you got two dogs in and this. So if you want Lego Poo, uh, you finally get that in minifigure scale. That's... Yeah, hey! <laughs> Next up we have Shower Guy. Now again, on the surface he's not that interesting. You got a regular sort of yellow minifigure, you got a, a brush, a green ducky, which is a nice new accessory. You usually get those in yellow, so this nice green one here. And does he have a secondary face? Yes, he's got an embarrassed face. Why? Because if you just look down here, you can see that if you remove this his towel, you can see that instead of just giving him like a T-shaped underwear piece, he actually comes with like soap printed on there. So, so he's got not like Austin Powers or or something like that, where he's just got like one thing covering his private parts. And I find that hilarious to have in a Lego minifigure. So we've got like Death Knights and now we've got naked guys. <laughs> well done, Lego. <laughs> Next up we have the Adventurer. On the surface he's not that interesting, but he does come with a little uh, gecko, which is a really cool, nice little thing. I, I like that a lot. And this backpack here, which is which is dual molded for the green and the brown. But the most interesting thing about but the most interesting thing about him is is, it, is that he's just a reimagined version of uh, Johnny Thunder. If you don't know who Johnny Thunder is, he's bootleg uh, Indiana Jones, pretty much. Uh, you know, in the 90s, there was a lot of Johnny Thunder sets. They were all adventurers. Uh, and, you know, it came, there was a lot of Egyptian stuff as well. So we had a lot of Egyptian stuff back then with the Johnny Thunder line. And um, and whenever the Lego sets just made something that needed an adventurer, he would be in there. Uh, was he in any of the dinosaur sets? So, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, a modern Johnny Thunder. And in the hidden side sets, we recently had like a grown-up version of uh, Pepper Oni. And uh, some people mentioned that um, Clutch Powers was reintroduced in uh, Ninjago sets. So we got a bunch of like really old classic stuff. Oh, and of course, Benny the Spaceman. Uh, a lot of older classic minifigures appearing in newer stuff and uh, reinvented a little bit. So that's cool. So yeah, he's got a darker color, uh, dual molded. His hairstyle is a little less obvious, but he still has the same mustache. And um, his torso is mostly the same. He doesn't have a pistol revolver molded into him. And let's just take a quick look at the back. So I got the straps there to continue. He's really awesome. And again, his cool factor is because he's a nostalgic character that's just been reinvented and more modern. This is nice. Next up, we have a new Space Knight, a evil Triforce Knight. Um, his accessory got a transparent piece here, and it says "Wanted for this many reward." And it's just funny because it's just a regular Lego face with two dots and a smile. So it could be anyone. <laughs> that's honestly that's that's one of the bigger reasons why I find this so charming. Because you know the other accessory is just just a regular space pistol, whatever. The figure itself is printed quite nicely. I just find it uh, the cool factor of this figure. It's just really nice. Looks like some uh, evil space cop from an uh, orphan. <laughs> Authoritarian culture, Authorian, eh, Authorian culture. Remove this mask, and you got some sort of blue evil face underneath. Like, yeah. And actually, some printing on the back, just uh, for this sort of space mask helmet. This is a really cool figure. I just, be, I just think it's really cool. <laughs> Next up, we have the gamer guy. Quick look at the poster here. Um, I can't remember what this is from. This is another. This is one of the other space minifigures from one of the previous sets. So I guess in his universe, that minifigure was a mascot or a video game character. Just says space game. Okay then. 
Uh, the figure itself, he's a douche. Um, he's got like a Space Invader keychain on his on his pants, but um, I don't like his hair at all. Is he meant to look like Jack Jacksepticeye? I, I don't watch his videos, but you know, like those big YouTubers always pop up on other YouTubers' channels. So I just because the green hair, maybe I don't know. And he's got another annoyed face. I guess he just died or something. But whatever. The most important piece in this set is the uh, not Xbox controller. Hmm. It's not a PlayStation controller, definitely. It's got the layout of a PlayStation controller, but the shape of it is an Xbox controller. So it's just combine the both so they don't get a lawsuit or something. But this is a really cool piece to have. I like this. I, I like this a lot. Um, it's a nice new mold. They can hold it on the side if they want, if you want to, but they can also hold on to the stud. It's really cool. And finally, the most complex figure we have here is uh, Wukong, or the Mon Monkey King. Now, again, I've already seen a lot of Monkey King sets from bootlegs and stuff, so in that sense, it's not that interesting. But uh, putting it him last and the most interesting because of the all well, the parts and pieces that you get. So there are some pieces. Uh, there are some spare pieces here. You got an extra uh, golden hilt, a short red bar, and an extra one of these long wavy things that go on top of his head. And because it's just uses standard Lego peg, so you can swap it and plug it onto many other types of Lego helmets. So that's a very useful part if you want to start building up a Chinese army, for example. The figure itself is printed quite nicely, and it, once again, you got many dual molded pieces. The legs are dual molded, arms are dual molded, and the ears and hair pieces also dual molded. Got this nice staff there, and a very big sort of monkey tail. We've seen this piece before, I believe, and this very interesting cape. Shoulder pads are also a bit different and we remove the hair and look at the other side he's got a more hee hee face so he's 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 at, at the winner just because of how complex he is but i personally prefer the gamer just for the gamepad and yeah so there we go that's 16 figures i actually bought you know an extra like this space knight an extra gamer they're the most common figures per box so they're the cheaper ones but uh, overall i i don't always pick up the minifigure series i haven't picked them up for a long time uh, in fact, I haven't picked up a full minifigure series, like the regular ones, since the horror one. I think that was 15 or 16. And it does seem like a long time ago, because between the different releases, even though the numbers aren't that far apart, it does seem like a long time ago, because in between the regular releases, we've had like, you know, Harry Potter, Simpsons, Lego Movie 1 and 2, Lego Batman Movie, Lego Ninjago Movie. So there's been a lot of other licensed minifigure sets that, that's been released in between. So that's feel like a long time ago. And the uh, reason why I picked this up set because uh, overall this set is very colorful. There's a lot of useful parts in here and very useful minifigures as well. And even the most uninteresting ones like the biker and the rugby player, they still have very good parts in them. And a lot of those figures can be used to army build, you know, get a bunch of rugby players. Of course, the sport fan would, would want to do that. Get some extra more unique firefighters, hooray. I would say the entire set, the least useful one is this flamingo lady, but she's still got interesting parts and a very interesting flamingo figure. So overall, I think this is a very nice set to have. If you're a Lego minifigure collector, you definitely want to pick this set up. If you're just looking for interesting characters, there's a lot here for you to pick up. And hopefully you can pick some of these up individually and add to some of your actual sets. And it's, it's just a nice set. So subscribe to Justin Card below and take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.